we welcome you in this uneasy time of transition, as summer shadows deepen and secrets of the underworld rise with an urgency to be revealed. As a child, you probably heard the tale of a young man and the girl he mysteriously meets on a dark cemetery road. Didn't you wonder if there was more to it? Things the adults weren't telling you? Well, now that you're grown up, we will reveal the whole story of what happens when this boy meets this girl. So sit back on the edge of your chair and enjoy the second chance.
could tell he was wishing so bad that it was you he was with. And his cute little mousy wife, she was wishing just as hard that she could swap him for me. I did notice her sneak a peek every once in a while. You're probably crawling into bed right now, trying my tail to get it on. Jenny! <laughs> what? You think they stopped trying after 90? You're hopeless. No! Oh, and who loves her hopeless little me? My sexy little Maria Bond. Ow, Jesus. <laughs> Damn, it feels like I fractured something. What's going on? What's wrong? Maria, I told you that the bulb was out. It's the last lamp in the friggin' room that works. Your problem is you don't listen. Yeah, I'll get the night light. But the point is I told you the bulb was out and you didn't get another one. That's the point, isn't it? I don't understand how you can be so dense sometimes. I just forgot, okay? I had a busy week. So you forget things sometimes. Oh, really? Like yeah. what? Like the spare tire in your car? You know, I almost got pneumonia that night waiting in the rain and I didn't blame you. That was six fucking months ago. You didn't blame me. Why the hell are you bringing it up now? Can we not do this? We had a really nice Oh, day. sure! Now it's my fault, huh? No, let's say it was my fault. Mr. Don't pull that martyr crap with me. What do you want? And I'm sorry? Okay, well there it is. It'll shut you up. God. Did you have to spoil the I'm sorry? No, what did I do? Damn you, you just did it again. You know. What now? I'm just going to keep my mouth shut from now on. Will that make you happy? Well, you can do what now with your mouth closed. You know what? Wait. No, go, all right? How about a little shoulder bump? A little Just leave me alone, all right? I'll get some oil. I'm not in the mood. Okay. Hey, I heard a funny joke the other day at work. This elderly couple is seated on a park bench. And the wife says she'd like some vanilla ice cream. So the husband says we'll get it for her. So she says, and I want chocolate sauce and a cherry on top, but you better write it down or you'll forget. So he says, oh no, 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 I won't forget, chocolate sauce, cherry on top, and off he goes. Well, a few minutes later, he comes back and hands her a hamburger. And she looks up at him and says, I told you to write it down, where are the onions? <laughs> Cute, huh? Suppose you're taking him under your wing, is that it? No, not exactly. His, his desk happens to be next to mine, that's all. Married? No, he's single. But he's only a kid, and he just passed the bar. I think he told somebody he's practically engaged. Ooh, that's nice. You think that'll be us someday, Daddy, the old couple in the hamburger? I'll shoot myself before I get old and pathetic. Not pathetic. I think it's rather endearing. You'd still love me, wouldn't you? If you turned flaky, I don't know. Well, I'd still love you. No matter what. Come on, you'd still love me till the day. How the hell should I know? God, come on with the goddamnest thing sometimes. If you want the truth, I wouldn't have someone like my mother's Aunt Aggie hanging around my neck. Well, why are we even talking about dotty old Aunt Aggie? Why don't you let me be right? I said no. What's wrong? It's because I mentioned that guy at work. You know, I told him he's just you a kid. You know what? I'm out of here. When Peter gets here, tell him I'll be at home. Wait a minute. You asked Peter to come here? You know I don't like a dealer from the rampart. Oh, like you've never sampled anything he sells. Come on! Candles and incense. Who's that kid from work? Wasn't it? No, he was 
here. Last week I, I lit some candles and I relaxed in the tub, that's all. God, why do we have to do this? You know, sometimes I, I wonder if it's all even worth it. What? Hey, you're not walking out on me. But, but Denny, you could be the nicest, most romantic guy in the world when we're out. And then and suddenly, just like that, you know, especially when you've been drinking. Oh, if you're not on my back about smoking a few joints, you're nagging me about drinking. Well, you know how you get sometimes. I warned you, let it go. Let go of me. I'll call the police. Oh, you want to see me in jail? Is that it? Ah! You asked for it. Now get up. Open your eyes, God damn it. Don't do this to me, all right? God damn bitch, I barely touched you. You're just... Sit up straight and listen to me. Come on. I'm the man here. You're not getting away with this. Uh-uh. I'm not getting mixed up in anything like this. Someone there? Oh, God! I'll be right there. 
Listen, uh, we didn't, uh, we didn't see nothing out there, did you? Like, uh, girl? I just want coffee. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, how about some coffee? You just said that. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little shook up tonight. It's the whole storm and everything. Ma says I got to get a hold of myself, but like I told her, even Abe Lincoln saw ghosts at the White House. Not that I see ghosts or anything like that. <clears throat> I wouldn't normally do this, but the storm and everything kind of shook. Man, you look beat. So, uh, <laughs> you uh, drive one of those semis down from Canada? <clears throat> well, you sure look beat. Not that it's any of my business, but uh, you must have been on the road a while. 24 freaking hours. Now my car died on me, and AAA doesn't know when they can get someone to help. So, <laughs> yeah. I am beat, all right. Hey, you want some turkey croquettes to go with the coffee? It's a special of the day. Just the coffee. Okay. Suit yourself. You sell Mrs. Fields cookies here? What do you mean here? Like we're a bunch of hicks? No. <laughs> no, I just figured it's kind of isolated. <laughs> you got that right. I think I cleared it out myself. You know what I mean? It's, it's great deer hunting country, but that's about it, you know? Uh, thinking of heading up into Canada and making some money in one of the big hotels. What do you think? I said, what do you think? I had my mind on someone. Oh, that's okay. Earlier I had my mind on someone too. <laughs> she was this little snot, you know? Going off to college, they said. I mean, not that I have anything against people who go to college. But I could have gone if I wanted to. Like, I'm sure you went, right? Yeah, a while back. Yeah, figure. So you got like the string of big letters after your name? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want a chocolate chip? Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's what we got. My name's Jerry, by the way. And I'll be your wait person. That's what I say now. Okay, Jerry. I'm Dave, and I'll be your customer. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I mean to say, Dave, is that if there's anything else you want, you can ask for me by name. Of course, I guess I'm the only one you'd be talking to, right? You said you needed something, right? <coughs> right? Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Man, you're touchy! I'm just looking at the scratches you got there. Yeah, I was working in the yard yesterday. He was on the road all day yesterday. Not the same you got that cookie? Yes. Uh, we don't sell Mrs. Fields cookies here. <laughs> I uh, appropriated the sign off a guy's truck for a joke. <laughs> well, my mother makes those, and I gave her a percentage of what I sell. Hey, you know what? I'm going to get one of those that flips up and down. Oh, Jesus! You know, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. There could have been lightning in that thing. Man, you know, those weather guys did not have a clue on this one. Shh, that doesn't work. Dead. Who's dead? The damn phone is dead. You know, there was this bolt of lightning one time. Right through this guy on the phone. I mean, they say it's safe if you're wearing boots, but this one guy, his boots was leaking, and his wife tried to pry him loose. His fingers came right off in her hand. I mean, that was just a big old mess. I, I don't even want to get into that one. <laughs> but there was this other time. Yeah, all right. Well, I, I told the, the tow guy that I meet him at the car. Jesus. I wonder if he ought to hang out for a while. What? I don't know. I just got a funny feeling. Like, Ma says that the psychic stuff is a crock of shit, but you know those girls in Salem that people called witches? Maybe they really were witches. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a refill and another cookie, no extra charge. Thanks, but I, I really gotta get going. How much do I owe you? A couple bucks, I'll do it. I'm just gonna hit the head before I go. Okay, listen, uh, it's down the hall, up the stairs. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs>
maybe I'll pick up something uh, I can sell them for the 11 o'clock news. Listen, I haven't done nothing. You can ask my mother. Just calm down. Hey, <clears throat> looking for somebody who uh, owns a car pulled off the road down by the cemetery. Report came over the radio. Connection with an incident in New York. <clears throat> Any strangers been by here? Yeah. And I've just been sitting with him the whole time, just shooting the shit. What do you do? <laughs> We're just checking things out. Well, he's in the can. I, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. What's up? Uh, this guy you're after, uh, he isn't dangerous, is he? Well, no reason to think so. But somebody's killed his girl. Holy crap! We gotta be careful! He might have done it himself! There's a lot of strange people out there, you know! Hey, you know what? You've been watching too many cop shows. Oh. You wanted to see me? Uh, yeah, you own a uh, black Audi parked down by the cemetery? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> your name's Dennis Green? That's right. What's up? Uh, listen, you know, you know a woman by the name of Maria Winslow? Yeah, she works for my neighbor's law firm. Nothing's wrong, is there? Well, uh, came over the radio uh, back home there. Hey, uh, they're trying to locate you. Uh, I believe you and uh, this Miss Winslow had uh, some kind of relationship. Yeah, we've, we've been seeing each other for a while. That's all we said about, huh? Uh, <clears throat> would you like to sit down? No. <clears throat> well, uh, I hate to have to tell you this, but uh, she was found dead last night. What do you mean if I'm dead? Hey, uh, when was the last time you saw her? We had dinner last night. This has got to be a mistake. No, I'm afraid they got a positive ID. Oh, Jesus. Well, where was she? How did it happen? No. <clears throat> Listen, I know this is hard, Mr. Green, but uh, apparently she was murdered in her apartment. Murdered? No. No one would murder Maria. Well, homicide got your name from her address book. You're not a uh, you're not a suspect, of course, but they'll want your help. Of course. Oh God! Of course, anything. Whoa! You got some pretty nasty scratches there. You know that? Yeah, I uh, I stopped for gas yesterday, and a goddamn cat tried to get in my car. It got me in a few places. Hey, lots of feral cats up here. You're going to want to make sure that doesn't get infected. Hey, by the way, can you just fill me in on what you're doing up in this locality? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, uh, Maria loved this part of the country, and we were planning on... Well, I, I, uh, I was taking a few days to find a nice honeymoon spot. This is a nightmare. I, um, yeah, I decided to surprise her, find a nice spot. She can't be gone. Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Green. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll just go out and uh, relay the information you're over here. Anything you want to say? I freelance, see, and uh, I could always pick up a few bucks for anything connected with a murder, even if you're from out of state. So, uh, you want to give me something? Yeah, yeah, I got something to say. I don't know who would do this to her, to us. Maria was my whole life. Nobody loved anyone the way I loved her. And we were planning. I, I, I can't I can't say anymore. Just to just remember. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life looking for you. Thanks. You're a 
nice guy. And I'm sorry about your girlfriend. There's a lot of weirdos wandering around. Okay, hey, listen, uh, there's a little airport up the road a ways, and I'll see to it they get you out on the first flight home. I'm just not sure how quick they can work it. Thanks. But, um, I'd just like to get my car running and, and drive back. It'll give me a chance to be alone. You understand. Well, as long as you'll be okay.
much of a question. Unless I'm also what? Nothing. It was a silly thing to say. Oh, I'm curious. Unless I'm also what? Do you suppose it's weather like this that makes people say silly things? You're not going to change the subject, then. I think I am. I'm a pretty persistent guy, and I say you're not. Hey, um, you want to sit for a minute? No, I've got things to do. I bet you they can wait. Just for a little while.
excuse me, but you came out of the dark yourself. But you seem like a real nice guy. Everyone tells you that, right? I'm a nice guy. I can be. I really can be. And and you, I, I bet you grew up on Anne of Green Gables. Am I that transparent? Oh, hold it. What? You're about to say transparent as a ghost, right? Well, you practically put that line in my mouth. You got a line? No, no, nothing like that. <laughs> so, um, so what else should I know about you? Come on, let's cut all this talk and do a little rain dance instead. But it's not raining, it's not doing anything. I know, because we're dancing. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, you know? No, it's not. It's
I'm beginning to believe that something brought me here. I, I end up in a, in a town that's nothing more than a dot on the map. My car dies on me. I stop for a cup of coffee in a hole in the wall. Half an hour later, we're here talking. There's got to be a reason. How can you think there's a reason for anything on this dumb earth? It's just perversity of fate. Why perversity? A while ago, my life was headed for a dead end. Now I can wipe out the past. I've got a future again. A guy with a clean slate. You and me forever. You don't know what you're saying. But if we're both free... I didn't say I was free! Jill, let's not play games, huh? You're the one playing games. You know we're not going to be together forever. Am I putting too much into a chance meeting? Is this nothing special for you? Nothing special, Dennis. Listen carefully, because nobody says no to me. We're going to be a pair, got it? Is it wrong to let yourself pretend most of the while?
I'd like to go on pretending. And it has meant a lot to me. But I'm leaving now. What? Yes. There's an important errand I'm here to take care of. Goodbye, Dennis. I really enjoyed meeting you.
my watch stop. That part I remember. Yes, I remember that my watch stop. Isn't it close to midnight yet, is it? Midnight? No, I, I don't know, maybe. Dennis, listen to me. I can live out a normal life. Here after all. To have the things I was cheated out of. It's possible, Dennis. All because of you. I love you for giving me this chance. I love you. I've never said that to anyone. And it feels wonderful. I gotta get a grip on it here. Mine is... But you still believe fate brought us together? And I must think of something I want that you can give me? Oh, yes. And I will. Okay, now just listen. I had come back to Earth level tonight on a special errand. But just now on my way, I realized you were right about fate. And about having a second chance. I didn't understand at first. But thank you for telling me that I must make it happen. Together we can make anything happen. Well, no, but we couldn't be together, of course. You're not making sense again. I really have to sit down. I haven't slept in so long. But you do want me to come back. Come back where? You're here with me! Please, Dennis, concentrate on what I'm saying. There may not be much time. All right. All right, I'm listening. Just tell me what I gotta do. Okay. This is amazing. I'm going to have a second chance at life. Yes, a second chance. Okay. Take a deep breath when I do. All you have to do is take my place on the other level. Take your place where? Weren't you listening? The other level. You said my father told you. I passed over. A year ago today. His daughter. Murdered. But she's so soft and warm and alive. Of course. If we come back to visit, we can transpose into flesh and blood again as I've done. And Dennis, when you allowed me to experience loving and being loved, I realized what I've been cheated out of. But I can't take any chance of the timing going wrong, so you've got to go right now. I think I'm believing.
have to deal with. Ten seconds, my whole future. My parents' dreams. Oh my god. Why would such a horrible, senseless thing happen to me? Because fate said, Amy, Mimi, Miney, I'll take Jill. Fate has never decided to take me. I was on the road by the time they called the coroner. The coroner? You actually killed Maria? You were those with no conscience. And you think you're going to get away with it? Of course. When I get back, I'll spread the word that she was a user. And all the dealers were threatening to, her to pay up. And <laughs> Even if Peter testifies to the truth, it will be the word of a petty drug dealer against mine. I am home free. And I'll see to it you're out of the way again, too. <coughs> Let me explain about that important errand. Right about now, a certain scumball has found home with greasy turkey croquettes for his mother. Poor Jerry. His car will stall. But Mama can't come looking for him because she's passed out in front of the TV. Finally, he'll start walking, cursing not a soul in sight. But wait, lucky Jerry, someone's coming and, oh no, poor Jerry. Remember me? I'll say, pulling my little ghost face trick on him. The one you see in your nightmares. I'm here to send you far away. To begin the payback for what you did to me. That has nothing to do with me. I am not afraid of you. You should be. I know now why fate dumped you in my past tonight. My first errand is to take care of you. I'll take care of you first. You don't realize, do you? Ghosts are invincible. Ah, you forget. You told me. When we come back, we're flesh and blood again. Yes. Not so smug now. Hmm? We're both on the same playing field. Like something momentous is going to 